good morning everyone in the last class uh, we have discussed a few open sql statements like some reduce operator filter operator some functions okay and uh, today uh, we will discuss one more concept in code push down techniques we have uh, Uh, open SQL. And uh, CDS use. And AMDP. Okay. So these are the main roles uh, uh, in code push down technique, right? And here we have one more concept. Information model. Okay, but here okay, this information model is not using frequently. Why we are not using uh, uh, this one frequently and instead of that one, instead of this information model, we are using CDS views. Okay, so what are the drawbacks? So we will discuss about this uh, information model. Okay. Even um, in, a, in a few support projects, we can see some information models. Okay, so information model is nothing but one view only. Okay, one view only. But this view, this information model view, we have to create on the database directly. Okay, as an ABAPR, most of the time we will work on application layer only. Okay, but coming to this information model, we have to work on database, not an application layer, database layer we have to work. Fine. <clears throat> so let me open database once. And uh, if you want to work on database directly, then uh, through SAP GUI is not possible. Okay, we have to use uh, Eclipse or HANA Studio. Now I will open Eclipse here. One minute, I'm just practicing on something here. So it has opened here, I will close it. Okay. And now here we can see some perspective, right? So if you want to work on ABAP application layer, then we have to select ABAP perspective. So this is the ABAP perspective here. Okay. And if you want to work on the database directly, okay, then uh, SAP is proposing a few uh, perspectives here. Okay. So first one, the HANA modeler and HANA administration and HANA development. So whatever it is, you can use these three perspectives. Okay, anything. So just HANA modeling, I'm just selecting here. Okay. And if you see, so the server is coming here. Okay, if you want to add server, so you have to click on this arrow button and click on project and you have to give some credentials, server information you have to give here, then the server, in, server will come here. Okay. And if you go to HANA administration, same thing. 
Okay, and if you go to HANA development, same thing will come here. Is it is locked? Okay, fine. Okay, so as of now, something, uh, some user is locked, something is coming here, but uh, Okay, it's available here for uh, but in different way it is coming. Fine. I will use HANA modeler as of now here. And you can use HANA modeler as well as HANA administration as well as HANA development. Okay. So some particular activities uh, will be different in each perspectives. So we have some uh, authorization. Okay, in HANA administration, uh, we like a basic system will work. Okay, most of the times basic team will work here. And in HANA development, so like Abapers only, one more team will be there. Uh, I mean, uh, some technical team will be there. So they have to create something some uh, by using some native SQL like that. Okay, so uh, those guys will have some uh, different authorization. Okay, and, and HANA modeler. Okay, we can, as an Abapers, we can work on this HANA modeler. And if you see here, Something folders are coming, something catalog, content, provisioning, and security. Okay, and these four these four folders are common in uh, HANA modeler as well as in HANA administration and HANA development. In three perspectives, these four folders will be there. Okay, so first of all, what is catalog? So catalog is nothing but is a collection of schemas. Okay. So just I have expanded this catalog here and it is showing something schema. This is called schema here. Okay, schema. So what is this schema? So in this schema only, uh, we will save our data, okay? Our table information, the tables are there, right? So those all tables will save in these schemas. Okay. But in real time, we don't see this many of schemas. Okay, we will see very less schemas. Okay. Some standard schemas are there. So here, the schema which is starting with uh, here underscore is there, right? So this is the system schema. By default, the schemas will come here. Okay, and So this is our schema, HANA, I mean, SAP HANA DP is there, right? So this is our schema. How can we say this is our schema? Okay, just open SAP GUI and I'm just opening a perspective here. I think I have some password, okay. Okay, it is something locked. Somebody used some different uh, password, so it is locked here. So I need to check with the server provider uh, to unlock this one. I will check it later. Now I will check with any other uh, system here. In SAP GUI. So this HANA system is not uh, opening because of some password issue. So. Is it one minute? I'm, I'm, I'm checking the password here. Okay, user account not invalid yet, fine. I think it is locked here. So actually, how can we see uh, here system status will be there, right? So here status is in deactive mode. 
so if it is open i mean uh, uh, if i open a server by using user id and password the status will be in active mode okay so at that time i can see something username there okay so we will get the server information like uh, uh, the uh, server I mean uh, it is a hana database or any oracle database like that the database name we will see and after, and after that one we can see something username okay so that username means uh, i mean whatever the username is there so on that name sap will create one schema in a web player whatever uh, tables we are saving all the tables will save on that schema only okay i will try to show this one tomorrow how can we find out the schema our schema okay uh, let me go here okay here sap hana db is our schema tomorrow i will show you this is the our scheme or not like that okay uh, and uh, so this schema will contain some uh, views and some tables like that okay <clears throat> here tables is coming here the folder okay so all the tables whatever we are saving the tables in sap uh, uh, above landscape okay in application layer Okay, whatever the tables are there, those all tables will be available in this tables here. Okay, I want to get to know some uh, KNA1 table information. Okay, and here I have given something filter VBAK. That's why uh, the tables are coming as VBAK. So I'm just removing the filter here. Now it will display all the tables. So in application layer, we have this many of tables. Okay, fine. Our table is not coming. And you see here, object limit is 1000 record, 1000 reached here. Okay, means it is displaying some 1000 tables here. And after that one, the target is reached here. So we can give some filters here. So we want KN1 table. So, right click on tables and click on filters. Okay. And I want KNA1 table information. Okay. It is filtering KNA1 is coming here. Okay. And double click on this KNA1, we can see the uh, table information okay the fields and data type and length like that we can see here if you want to display i mean uh, the data in this table just right click on this table and click on data preview here open data preview okay so this is the data here uh, total 264 rows are coming here <clears throat> so this is the way to find out our uh, table name here and why sap is creating this many of schemas here Okay, this is fine. This is our schema. Okay, in ABAP player, uh, in application server, uh, the username will be SAP HANA DB. So, whatever the table we are creating in the ABAP player, so all the tables are saving in this HANA DB schema. That is okay, fine. But why uh, this many of schemas are there? Okay, here I'm using something uh, ECC system. Okay, ECC I'm using here and I'm migrating to HANA. Okay, I'm migrating to HANA. on a database, fine. And here, while migrating from ECC to HANA, at that time, the tables, 
So whatever the tables are available in ECC, all the tables has to move to HANA DB now, right? So I will create one schema here for ECC. Okay, so ECC, all the tables will, will move to one schema here. Okay, the schema name I'm just giving as the ECC. Now, I have uh, one more company or I'm uh, trying to purchase one more company here. So they are using some different uh, databases. Okay, so they are using something Oracle database. Oracle database. So this Oracle database also, I have to move to uh, HANA database, right? So I cannot match this table here in the ECC. Okay, as of now, I cannot match because if I match the, if I match this Oracle tables and ECC tables, there may be some duplicates will be there. So a few tables will not support. So some uh, inconsistency will come here. To avoid that one, what SAP has done here, Okay, and here SAP is creating one more schema. So for that Oracle database, okay, the schema name they have given like Oracle. Oracle. In the same way, SAP is, is I mean, uh, uh, the company <clears throat> is adding one more database information. Okay, so at the time they will create one more schema here. How many databases they are using outside, I mean, previously, and after that one, they are migrating to HANA, right? So at that time, they have to migrate all the data. Okay, all the data. So from that database to this HANA database. So at that time, they will create some one separate schema for that one. Okay, how can we move the data? Sorry. So how can we move the data? I mean, the tables from ECC to this uh, uh, HANA schema is there, right? So here, how can we move the data? There will be separate team for that one. Okay. There will be separate team for that one. So they will work on they will work on provisioning. Okay, here's something provisioning folder is there, right? So by using this folder, they will move the data from uh, other database to another database. Okay, they will they will save the data in particular schema. Okay, those schemas will come under this catalog folder. So this provisioning, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, uh, this is different concept here. So this is a different course actually. Okay, some uh, uh, how we are learning this ABAP. So in the same way, the provisioning, the, there will be one course. Okay, some different different technologies are there okay, to move the data from one database to another database, to another database like that. Okay, there is a different course, but whatever they are moving the data from other database to another database. So those all will come into catalog folder. Okay, under schemas. Okay, fine. So our schema is SAP HANA DB now here. And here we can see something tables folder. So in this table folders, we can we can uh, maintain the tables. Okay, in ABAP player, how many tables are there? Those all tables we can maintain here. We can see here. Okay, fine. This is a catalog folder. This is the catalog folder and coming to the next folder content. Okay. So if we want to create information model, then we have to go for content folder. We, as an abapper, we have to work on these two folders, catalog and content. So in this catalog means for referring the data, referring the data, we will go for catalog 
and for creating something views here okay creating something views at that time we have to come to content folder okay so if you expand this one it will contain something packages okay in our ABAP layer also we have something packages right so in the same way here also some package will be there okay fine uh, I will discuss about this one. So we have to work on this content only. Okay, I will come back on this content folder. And coming to the provisioning, so if you want to move the data from other database to HANA database, so they will uh, create some schemas and they will save the save the data in those schemas. Okay, provisioning, data provisioning. And security, uh, like some basis. Okay, so uh, by using this security, so they will give some authorization. So you have to work on this schema. You have to work, I mean, uh, we don't have uh, uh, authorization for all schemas. Okay, so this authorization concept will come under this security folder. Okay, not only that one, anything like, like basis related things will be there, right? So those things we can do from security folder. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Now, I will create one information model, okay, information model. So for that one, I have to come to content here. Okay. Expand this folder. Here, it is containing something, uh, packages here, right? So I will create one package for our objects. <laughs> okay. Right click on the content folder and click on new button here and click on package here. Okay, and I'm just giving the package name and the description and the delivery unit is coming here. Okay, so the delivery unit is nothing but one package, sorry, sorry, one TR. Okay, in ABAP layer, while we are creating something program class or method, whatever it is, so it will ask the TR, transport request number, right? In the same way, in the HANA database, if you want to move, something object object is nothing but something views or tables whatever it is okay so if you want to move something object from development to quality quality to production like that we have to move through delivery unit okay so the delivery unit is uh, coming here and click on okay button i am not giving anything okay so if you are not giving anything then automatically it will save under dollar tmp in Ab in abap layer so if we are not giving any uh, package, we will give, we have to click on local object. Okay. So at that time, by default, system will give dollar TMP for that object or for that uh, class method program, whatever it is. Okay, here also same thing. Okay, if we are not giving anything, then that object, okay, that object, we cannot move from development to quality, quality to production like that. It will be local here. Fine. AOH2, this is our package now. Okay. And here I have to create uh, our information model. Okay. Some views, information model views I have to create here. Fine. So information model views are three types here. So SAP is providing three types of views here. Attribute view. Analytic view. Calculation view. Okay. And Attribute view and analytical view, these two views are absolute now. We are not using this one. We are not using these two views. Actually, this information model, this information model views we are not using. Okay. But in support project, in support project, we can see uh, these views, attribute, analytical, and calculation view. And nowadays also, uh, a few guys are creating this calculation view. 
okay not attribute and analytical but calculation view they are creating So if we want to work on those type of projects, we have to get you know, uh, basic knowledge on attribute, what is attribute, what is analytical, what is calculation view, how it will work. So these type of things we have to get to know. Okay, fine. Here, attribute view, here we can join. Okay. Here, if you want to join, okay, two or more tables, then this is the correct place, okay. And here we have to consider only master data or dimension tables, dimension data. Means some uh, price price value will be there or some quantity field will be there, okay. So those all things should not consider it here. Okay, those fields we should it, it should not consider. It should allow only master data. Okay, in HANA terms we will call it as the dimension. Okay, dimension fact like that we will call here. Dimension means only. For example, customer number is there, customer name is there, customer city. Okay, these are the uh, uh, something quantity or price like that. Okay, this is a master data here. So if you want to join these type of tables, then we can go for attribute view here. Okay, and I have to check uh, these two or more tables or one, I mean, uh, two tables, I will check it uh, in, the, in the practice level. And coming to the analytical view, we can join Okay, here coming to the analytical view, we can join one transaction table. Okay, one transaction table with multiple attribute views. Okay, multiple attribute views are uh, master tables. Okay, if we create the analytical and attribute and calculation, then you can get to know about this one. Just for uh, abbreviation purpose, I mean, how, what is the purpose of this uh, attribute and analytical calculation view? For that one, I'm telling you. Okay, by using this analytical view, we can we can join one transaction table with multiple master tables or multiple attribute views. Okay, and here coming to the calculation view, join with multiple transaction tables with multiple attribute or analytic or tables. Okay, we can join n number of attribute views, analytical views and uh, uh, tables. We can join anything here. Okay, and here it will work on it will run on join engine. So what is this engine here? And it will work on, it will run on OLAP engine. And it will run on calculation engine. Okay, so uh, I have one bike here. Okay, I have one bike. 
so i am starting with first gear and after some time i will go for second gear and after that one i will go for third gear like that right so in the first gear you can go up to uh, some 20 speed here okay 0 to 20 or 0 to 30 like that okay and after that one after 30 speed the bike sound will be different and the bike will not go in that much of speed Right? So that capability is 0 to 30 only. And coming to the second gear, so we can go from 20 to 40 like that. Okay, speed we can maintain from 20 to 40 like that. The third gear, we can go up to 30 to 50 like that. Okay, some specific speed we have to maintain. Okay, if we uh, 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 go more than that speed, so uh, that vehicle will not go smoothly. And if we go uh, less than the speed also, for example, I'm going in the fourth gear, okay? And the speed is 10 here. So at that time, how it will go? It will not go, it will not move here. The bike will stop there, right? Means each and every gear, they have some capacities, okay? So in that capacity only, the bike will move here. The same way here also, SAP is providing some engines. Okay, some join engine, OLAP engine, calculation engine like that. So this attribute views, this attribute views will work on this join engine. Means here we are working on only dimension tables. Okay, so these dimension tables execution is very fast in a join engine. Okay, this join engine will not consider any uh, transaction tables or any other views like that. Okay, so it will join, uh, I mean, it will consider that uh, master data. Okay, master data tables only. And coming to the analytical view, here it will work on OLAP engine. Okay, here it will consider up to one transaction table and multiple master data tables. That is the capacity of this OLAP engine. Okay. And coming to the calculation engine, so it can maintain, it can maintain n number of transaction tables and n number of master tables. Okay. So this is a certification question. If you go to a weapon HANA certification, so they may ask the question like, so on which engine calculation we will work or on which engine analytical view we work. Okay, so even though we are not using these uh, uh, information models, we will get the questions in the certification or in the interview level on top of this in, uh, information model views because nowadays also we are supporting for these uh, views. Okay, fine. Okay, attribute analytical calculation view and uh, what type of tables we can join and on what type of engines it will work, we can get to know here. Fine. Now I will create one attribute view. Okay, how can we create attribute view here? So just come to the Eclipse and here I have opened a HANA modeler perspective. Okay. HANA modeler perspective and uh, I have created on package AOH2. Okay. Now I want to create one attribute view here. Just right click on the package and click on new button here. And if you see here, something package is coming. Okay. The first option is the package. Fine. This is a sub package here. Already one package is there AOH2. So in that one, if you want to add one more sub package, then we have to click on sub package here. Okay, but I'm creating something attribute view. The second option is the attribute view here. Just click on that button. And now you can uh, see it is asking something name here. Okay, so here I'm just giving something uh, naming standards as AT underscore. Okay, attribute view name. I'm starting with AT underscore. This is not recommending by SAP. Okay, but this is the best practice.
Okay, for attribute view AT, uh, the starting letter will be AT here. And for analytical view AN, I'm giving. And calculation view CA, I'm giving here. Okay, this is not fixed thing. Okay, AT is not fixed thing here. So it is depend on the company. So the company may ask, uh, you can maintain something, uh, different letters for the attribute view. Okay, by seeing of that name, we can identify, okay, this is the attribute view and this is the analytical view. Like that, we can identify easily. Okay, and the name must and should start with Y or Z. These all things are not there. Okay, so these mean the naming must and should start with Y or Z. These all things are applicable in application layer only. Okay, in ABAP layer. But we are working on database layer here. So there is no concept of Y or Z starting letter like that. Okay, you can give any, uh, any letter here. Okay, fine, come here. And now I'm creating something, uh, attribute view. I will give like AT underscore and I want to uh, give something material information. Okay, I want to get into something material information. So I will write like material, AT underscore material. Right. And now coming to the label here, automatically the name is copying and pasting. If you want to maintain like that, you can maintain. Otherwise you can give something meaningful description here. material information I'm just giving here, okay? And now type of view is coming here. So the type of view, uh, if you uh, click on this arrow button, it is, it is showing like attribute analytical calculation view, okay? In the package, after right clicking on that one, I have selected attribute view. So by default, attribute view is coming here. Okay, if you want to change the view, okay, to analytical calculation view. And you can select here, automatically it will go to that view only. Okay, here attribute view is coming by default fine because of I have selected attribute view while creating that one. And here subtype is coming here, okay, subtype. So if you click on this uh, uh, arrow button, it is showing something, some time and derived standard, okay. 